are on the road at sunrise on our way over the Skyway Bridge and headed to Treasure Island, Florida, where supposedly the good Sunset Beach is. <laughs> Now you guys might remember if you watched my channel a few weeks back, I posted some videos from Sunset Beach, but it was the other Sunset Beach that was up near Anclote and Tarpon Springs. And it was a, a little tiny island with a causeway out to it, very small, very tiny beach, and I didn't find a lot. I was then informed by somebody who watches my channel that there is a second Sunset Beach she had gone recently and the feeling was pretty good. So, let's go find out. Let's go see what we find today. And we are approaching the Skyway Bridge. As you can see, there's very heavy traffic in front of me. It is about 20 after 7 in the morning. And I was hoping to be rush hour, but uh, I didn't. <laughs> Use the left lane to take exit 17 for US 19 North toward Florida 682 West, Pine Alice Bayway. <laughs> Pine Alice. Who is Pine Alice? Hey, she's doing better. She used to call it the Bay A Way. At least she straightened that out. Use the left lane to take exit 17. So, coming up here, pretty much like I would head over to Pastor Girl or Fort DeSoto, only this time. This, this time, I'm Right at Don Caesar instead of left. And there's the beautiful Don Caesar. That's in the bay too. I mean, I haven't really seen the gum yet. But uh, very quiet. Tide slowly on its way back in to get us to a mid tide at about nine o'clock this morning. Going right onto Golf Boulevard. Turtle nesting. Fill holes on the beach. Leave footprints only. You bet. Continue on Gulf Boulevard for two miles. We're on West Gulf, heading toward the peninsula now. I've never been over here. This is kind of cute. Lots of roofs still getting fixed over here. And they didn't even have that much damage. Alright, just to give you an idea of what things look like around here. I'm uh, the last parking area, I think, on Sunset Beach, Treasure Island. It says that this is the Sunset Beach Pavilion up this way. So, yeah, I guess we're here. And it looks like a pay-by-app arrangement where you've got a uh, pay mobile. But if, again... You have a handicap tag. These spots are not numbered and therefore you don't have any way to, to pay anything in the app because you don't have a number to put in. So, and look at this. I mean, right here, beach access, right next to where I'm parked at. That's cool. Looks like we have a boardwalk that goes down the beach a little ways. But I think I'm, uh, I'm going to take my time and work down the sand today. <clears throat> well, the beach isn't very wide here. Oh, there we go. We're right over by the jetty. Very cool. 
All right. Right off the bat, I'm seeing some piles washed up here. Looks like busteds and commons for the most part. There's a jetty above me and a jetty below me and stuff in the rat line. I'm already seeing scallops and prickly cockles and cool stuff. All right, this might be kind of fun. Let's check this out. Let's see what we got. Ooh, these are kind of tough shape. Got a lot of arcs. Really cute prickly cockle. I'm gonna keep that. There's a pretty scallop there. A little barnacle should pop right off. Yep, there it goes. Excellent. Now I should also mention, I haven't even looked in the water yet. I'm seeing there's a, a big whelk piece right there. And there's all kinds of shattered pieces of everything in that sand too. Now, oh don't even tell me. They have sand dollars here too? Get out of town. Look at that. Awesome. All right. Now we're at a point where um, tide is coming up a little bit and then it's gonna level off and we're gonna have what's called a mid tide for a few hours. So I'm not at dead low because that was still dark this morning at dead low and high tide won't be here until later this afternoon. So should have plenty of time to check out what goodies are around here. Let's check what the water's like since everything's so still. Oh wow, there's tons of stuff rolling around in here. Little fishes, all swimming around. It's like chunks of limestone rock in the bottom here and lots of shells. Lots of stuff in here. I think I'm gonna stay in this little back line up here. Go down to the jetty, then walk back up to the other jetty. Sponge. Ooh, a little hinged coquina pear and a prickly cockle. All right, cool. Hmm, some more nice scallops here. Bay and a calico. All right. Ooh, I see pen shell maker and a big jingle too. And look at the jingles around here. Jingles, jingles, jingles. My goodness. Crossbar Venus. Seems a little busted. There's another hinged pair of coquinas. And I'm seeing uh, pieces of lettered olives too. A baby broad rib cardita. Pretty little scallop. And this one here looks to be an old Sunray Venus clam without the proper markings. Potentially could be a fossil. Oh, that's a piece of a baby's ear. I'd like to find one of those today. Hmm, that's a nice piece of a lightning rock. And there's another in the sand there. Maybe I'll find some actual, you know, whole ones. That'd be nice. Here's a thick lucine. That's cool. Nice prickly cockle. And a big cardita. All right. Ah, cool. A little worm snail right there. 
Awesome. Oh, and another bigger one over here next to it. Very cool. Very cool. And here we have a little spiny jewel box. He's sort of rounded down a little bit, being tumbled and whatnot, but he's still pretty cute. We'll take him. And that little cutie pie is a kitten paw. back in the water a second now that we can see a little better mm, lots of goodies lots and lots oh my gosh the bottom is covered with shells I mean I'm looking out 20 feet out and I can see shells all over the bottom. So there's quite a bit here. Just condition is the question. Ooh. Piece of bandy tulip. Maybe there's some of those here too. That's cool. Ooh. That guy is a cohog. Nice and thick. Nice color up here too. Usually they're white. That's kind of awesome. Pieces of sand dollars keep washing in, my goodness. Alrighty. I'm seeing most of a lot of the same type of stuff here as I'm heading down that direction. So, uh, maybe we'll do a little high speed hobble down to the bottom. favorite little shells right here. Oh, wait, Atlantic Semele. He doesn't have much color on the inside, just the barest little bit up there in the top. But I do think this is a beautiful shell. They're delicate and they're pretty. We only get about this big. They actually are quite cute. So far, I'm finding things. I'm not finding a, you know, bunch of exotic stuff that I don't see all the time or anything like that, but still. It's fun on this beach. There's lots of stuff to look at. Oh, there's a buttercup. Cool. Okay. Humongous prickly cockle. You saw the ones I just picked up. Now look at the size of this beast. Wow. Broken scallop, and then there's another one of these weird, I think these are thick leucines that have sat in sediment a long time. It might actually be fossil because there seems to be limestone crust on the back of it too. So that's kind of cool. That little guy's a slipper snail. And then we got a, a little crab house, it's fairly recent because all this stuff is stuff that got thrown out of that hole. He's probably down in there hiding, waiting for me to leave. Things are starting to change a little as we go down further. Oh, wow, that's cool. Okay. This is a prickly cockle that was half buried in sediments. So half of it got dark and the other half stayed normal color. That is awesome. That's a weirdo. I love weirdos. That comes home. Here. Oh, a little calico clam. All broken, but where there's one, there's more. And this guy is a very old crossbarred Venus. Like fossil crossbarred Venus. Most folks aren't aware of this, but um, when Ian came through, oh, there's a cute little calico. Look at the colors, nice. Yeah, so when Ian came through, 
all of the water that was in the upper part of Tampa Bay got sucked out. And along with it, a lot of the sand got rearranged too. So there's places down south of here that have a whole bunch more sand than they used to. And then places like this, which have less than they used to. Oh, I see my favorite color scallop. That is lovely. Oh, how pretty. Awesome. Yay. Another little calico clam up here. Is this one whole? It is awesome. All right. And look at the coloring on that. That one's a stunner. Beautiful. Oh, look. There's another little hinged pair. Geez, and I have the wrong bag today. I didn't think I was going to find tinies, so I didn't bring my little container. And the crossbar Venus colors up here are great. Really colorful. Another hinged paired coquina. And very big Broadwood Cardita. And ooh, what's that? It's the outer body to a mole crab. Super fragile. Oh gosh, how did I miss this? Here's another one. Excellent. Good morning, seagulls. How are you guys today? The Gulf is so calm. This bigger Cardita by my walker. And this beautiful little bay. Pretty. All right, it's hard to tell when you're looking at it on camera, but the waves are moving in from the northwest pushing at us. So if that's the way things flow over here, I might find a pile down by the jetty. So I'm gonna go look over there. Oh, look at the coquinas. Oh, I love these little guys. Look at them all. Like wailing their way down in there. Can you see that? Here's some more. Red one, look at him go! <laughs> Here's go another one. Okay, now I know old stuff is washing in. Because that is old coral. Old coral. This little tiny stuff here. So maybe some of this old stuff that I've been finding, like the, the really old thick lucines and stuff like that, may actually be fossils. A piece of pen shell maker here and a little cohog there. Actually, that's a pretty thin one for a cohog. I'll double check and see, make sure it's not a princess when I get home. Oh, look, we have a turtle nest just get marked out here. There's turtle patrol folks. Ooh, that's very pretty. opened up a little. Yeah, nice. Nice big piece of the pen shell maker too. These days I'll do my project with this stuff that I've been hoarding for a while now. And I see a big piece of a Sunray Venus and a smaller, smaller one up here in the rack. Awesome. And there's and yellow pair, little tiny guys. Oh, look how cute and pretty that is. A little pink in the bottom. And a nice little reddish one. Sweet. Closer down here to the jetty, we have actual piles up here in the sand too. Might have to sit down on one of these and take a peek. Wow, actually on quite a good size shell pile now. And the Turtle Patrol girls say that this one is freshly hatched. What have we here? I see orange. Oh, ooh, 
I see orange with some yuck stuff stuck on it, but that'll come off. And I caught that bright, vibrant yellow. The size of that crossbar Venus, my goodness. Awesome. And then, oh look, there's a little corrugate jewel box in yellow. Neat. All right, now this is my first time up here and I'm noticing there's a number of these rock jetties. I believe they call them rock groins. And I believe that they're intended to keep uh, erosion from taking the beach completely away. Generally what happens is the sand stays around the rocks but gets carved out in the middles. Look at the little juvenile turns. Cheep, 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 cheep. The cheep, cheep, cheepin' is the youngsters asking for food. And the squawk back is like, find your own. Because they're getting to that age now where they need to start hunting for themselves. But hey, what teenager doesn't work it, right? <laughs> I just love turns, they're awesome. Shiny jewel box here. Very nice. And the turns are keeping me company. And I see some shell piles down here. Very cool. Let's, uh, let's go take a look. Let's see if there's anything good in the piles. Oh, hang on now. Before we go over there, I think I'm just going to catch that nice big buttercup. And what's this? Oh, it's a broken apple murex. Maybe there's more of those here too. That would be great. A little coquina pear. A little scallop. A piece of a worm snail. This guy is beautiful. Some scene in front of me. Some nifty broad rib carditas up here. Uh, we're just about to the end. So I'm gonna search these piles a little bit and then make my way up to the next jetty, I think. Because I don't think I can go anywhere further here. I think it sort of just ends and it's just water. But wow. Look at the shell pile up though, right here on this spot. Ooh, this might be fun to pop here. Okay, I am not sure about this one, but this is the second one of these I've grabbed today. It's a little big to be our general coquina. And it looks maybe like a, a talon, a, like a candy striped talon that's faded a little bit. That I'm gonna have to look in the book for. Cute little orange scallop. Oh, lovely pink one, wow, that's beautiful. And another coquina pear. Yes, it's a lucky limpet. Okay, limpets are usually a sign that I find a mixture of other things and I call them lucky because every time I find them I have good luck. All right, first of all, I'm standing on a pile. That whole thing is a shell pile with just a little edge of sand around it. So this is a shell pile. Shell piles over there, shell pile there, shell pile there, shell pile there. Shell pile there. So every rack line has piles of tinies. I guess that means my chances of finding something in it are pretty good. Oh, someone left a little scallop up there on that rock. Cute! All right, I'm on the bottom side of the rocks. It's a little sketchy, and I don't know how fast the water drops off. But I just wanted to see what's over here. Because I'm sort of thinking not as many people will come over on this side. And there is just piles of stuff everywhere. But it's all littles. All littles. I wanted to cross over to this side, but personally, I'm not sure I can make it over these rocks. 
And I'm also not sure I can make it around the rocks because the water sort of drops off on the other side. So I may have to be content with being right here. Oh, look at these guys popping back out. Oh, oh there he goes, digging down in. Yeah, this is uh, quite the tiniest pile up here, my gosh. Oh, cool. There's a piece of coral. Look, little coquinas are moving themselves around in this stuff. Buddy, are you trying to get back to some water? There you go. Put you on the other side. Look at this. Shells and shells and shells and more shells. I think I'm gonna get back in the water for a minute and check it out. Let's see how deep, how fast it gets. Okay, I'm only a few steps in, and I'm already over the first set of handles on the walker, so. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to make it around unless it's like negative low tide or something. Whew. Walker sinks right into this stuff. Right under the sand, it's all shells. Loads and loads and loads of little teeny shells, little teeny pieces. There's some coquinas moving around. Sorry guys, there you go. Cover you back up. Here we got a little piece of the moon snail. See some tulip egg casings right here. Broken piece of a fighting conch. Broken piece of a true tulip. A very busted fighting conch that a boring sponge got a hold of. A little yellow jingle. Alright, seeing the piece up in here. A little orange jingle. Another hinged coquina pear. A couple of buttercups. A cute little scallop. Well, now I want to go further above the other jetty and see what's up there. Now that I made it down here. Wow, well, don't know how I missed this on the way through, but that is a sea whip and a cute one. Got a little bit of stuff in there to pull out, but still look at that beautiful purple color. That's lovely. All right. Yeah, that's a pretty nice one. That'll be gorgeous in a shadow box. Boy, these baby turns are busy today. <laughs> they really, really want feeding, my gosh. Listen to that racket. There's some of the bigger guys with the, the orange on their face at the top of their bill. I forget their name. They remind me of Toucan Sam kind of for some reason, but mm, there we got a nice ibis strolling across, coming to look for food. A couple more turns just landed right by me. So cool.
And just to give you an idea of how deep the water gets here, it, it drops off fairly quickly. But I don't think it goes too much past my waist for a little ways out, because those folks walking around out there, the bottom is covered and covered and covered in shells. But they're buried in the sand, and I can't see what the condition on anything is. And so, I mean, you can see that I'm only about, I don't know, seven, eight feet from where the waves are breaking. And uh, when the waves come up, they come up to the top of the walker. So it, it drops off pretty well here. And it's not the easiest stuff to walk in, but geez, so hot already, man. And I tried to come early, so it wasn't gonna be too hot, but good gravy. And it's like crazy hot out here already. And I'm not sure what time it is. I'm guessing like 9, 9.30, something like that. And it's, I've already had to peel off the t-shirt and I'm walking in the water to stay cool, even though it's not the quickest way to get around here. Man, I wish I had a snorkeling mask. Fighting comp there. down there oh wow that's a cool piece of coral super cool I like that nice oh I see a black scallop though I am gonna grab that oh wow that's cool nice let's see some bigger things here in the water I'm gonna check it out I'm very close to the shoreline Oh, wow, that's off a big bulk. And so is that. Oh my gosh. That too. This is one of those places I want to snorkel and dig. Oh, come back. What have we here? Oh. An old fighting conch. Started off knobbed and now it's knobless. That's cool. Okay, I went back to the car, dropped off my sand dollar, got some Gatorade, and now I'm back in where I'm parked, basically. I'm gonna try my luck going north. See what we find up here. Found a piece of a tulip and a paired coquina already. And there is lots of pieces. pieces. Wow. Look at the size of that piece of coral. That's awesome. It looks like they have beach kind of partly blocked off over there. And I don't know if that's some kind of erosion damage, but it's like the face of the sand just drops off straight. And then there's sand on those rocks over there. I kind of would like to get there before the tide comes in. So I know I have a little ways to go while it's stable. I'm going to check. And I also see a sandbar out here. I'm going to check that too. Boy, I'm starting to see a bunch more stuff in the water going north. Maybe I should have started out this direction. Ooh, I see an olive. I think. It is. It is a nice little lettered olive. Very cool. Hey, we're seeing stuff. And things are getting bigger. Nice piece of wealth there. All right, I can't see through this like I could on the other side. And I can feel that there's like big rocks and chunks of things under my feet. I wish I could see it though. Oh wow, there's loads of stuff washing around in here. Much bigger pieces than what we saw below.
clear up. Nice scallop. Real complaining conk. Hey, little hinge surf clam, cool. I thought it was a piece of coral, but now I just think it's a piece of rock. Pretty big old fossil clams in here too, wow. This is kind of cool up here. And I'm really, I mean, that's where I came on, on this side of this building, the mansion by the sea. This is the next little beach access bridge. And I see there's shells wedged in there under the steps and along up on the top. And I see stuff rolling around above me in the surf. Yeah, this is gonna be fun over here. Hello, fossil. That is a very old fighting conch. Oh, that's another fossil fighting conch. That's awesome. Nice old guy. Oh my gosh, there's lots of them. Wow. A tulip. Oh, where did you go? And it was a beauty. Gotta be around here someplace. I am gonna find it. Now that I know it's here. Ah. Gotcha. What a beauty. Wow. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous banded tulip. Lovely. Ooh. Just saw a big bay scallop go zipping by that I'd kind of like to grab. Not sure if I'll find it again. And there's all sorts of stuff up here on the beach, too. I'm up here and poke around a minute. Get my feet a break because there's all kinds of pieces of junk getting in and out of my shoes. Oh my. Beautiful scallop. Surf clam. Oh, that's cool. A little broken baby whelk in it. Wow. So at high tide, now that there's not as much sand here, the water gets right into there. And look at underneath the steps pack full of sand and shells. All right, this is sort of tough to describe, but there's stuff rolling around in here that's like big and old. Whoa! And the waves come in a little rough, but there's these like old fossilized fighting conks rolling around in here. Ooh, little scallop almost lasting. And I'm stepping on stuff. I just don't know what it is that I'm stepping on. I feel rocks and chunks of shells. Oop, there goes the fighting con I was after. Oh, did I get it? I did. Cool. Maybe I'll find another tulip. There's so much stuff, but you can just only catch glimpses of it. And then another wave breaks and kicks up all the silt and you can't see anything. But yeah, there's definitely stuff down here. Another big old fighting conch. Good heavens. Where 
did all these old, old shells come from? Are they washing in or washing out of the dunes? <laughs> Literally. Piles of shell stuff everywhere out here. Oh my gosh. Man, I wish I had my snorkeling stuff. Boy. Dang it. Hello, big old fighting clunk. Nothing in you. Cool. Okay, this is fun. Whoa! Wow. That's cool. All right, I goofed. I, uh... I switched out for a smaller bag thinking I was going to find tiny stuff and <laughs> that was wrong. <laughs> nice bay. <laughs> nice. Alright, now I can see what I was stepping on before. All pieces of big old clams rocks but there's loads of these broken big old clams everywhere huge these guys are monsters let's get up here for a minute see what's up top The stripes on this guy. He's cool. Yeah, so we have had some sort of erosion damage here, it looks like. And this will show you why we get the erosion damage we get. Everything is sand and shells. Everything. Look at this. Poof, right out. Poof. So when the water hits this with a significant amount of force, all of it just gives way. Because there's nothing holding it together except a few roots. And that's, this is what happens with barrier island areas. Things get built up and they wash out, and they built up and they wash out. See, and lots of little phosphate pieces in here too. Which would make sense with all of the, uh, the big fossil shells that I'm finding. So I mean, some of this stuff is kind of old. Now I happen to just look down the beach. And there's another one. Another one of the Strombus family. I need in here for someone else to find because I've already picked up a few of those and they get quite heavy. Looks like somebody went picking the big stuff and made a big pile of them up here. <laughs> oh, and it's not just clams either. A giant anacostle, surf clams, and these monsters. Look how thick that is. It was like a half an inch thick. Unreal. And misting weighs a ton. I'm gonna keep heading north. This is kind of a fun spot. Oh, tell me that's a moon snail. Oh! <laughs> He's got a little hole. I don't care. He's awesome. That's a big guy. Wow. Very cool. Goodness, I see my first whole whelk today. Wow. Sea turtle nest, huh? Huh. I hope they made it. Look at you. Hello, lightning whelk. Hey, you're gonna come home with me. And your scallop buddy is too. Yay! Oh, that one 
would have been cool. That's okay. That guy's pretty cool. Can't step without putting my feet on these big chunks of clams. Walkers on them, my feet are on them. The size of that piece of walk. Now, I'm not even gonna try to do anything with this because look how thick it is. It'd be impossible to cut, but still though. All sorts of things to see over here. Wow. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Big old fossil cohog. These two guys. Ooh, I see an olive. Well, I missed the olive, but we got a button and another button and a marginella. What? Big shells and tinies? Ah, there's another marginella. What chicory is this? Okay, normally I don't find bigs and tinies at the same time. Not like that. In the meantime, where'd that olive go? Oh, there it is. Don't you run away. I missed it again. Hey. Nice. Nice, nice olive. Beautiful. Don't you make me lose that wealth waves. There we go. Look at that. Excellent. Oh, wow. Oh, pear welt. Missing half of it on the lip there. Still super cool. Big old discolored leucine, which I think is awesome as well. A monster jingle. Absolutely huge, and look at how white that little foot on the back is. <laughs> That's really cool. Let's see. Hey, that one's pretty nifty. All right, so that's one of the ones I threw because I remember the hole. That's cool. Little novelist dude. Still got some of the zigzags on it. Very nice. Um. Just because man put something somewhere, doesn't mean Mother Nature's gonna let it stay there. Once upon a time, those piers were buried three or four feet in the sand. Now they're supported by absolutely nothing. That's wild. Golly, there is just shells all over the place in here. there were no piles at the last sunset that was true those piles were all at this sunset beach merciful heaven look at this everywhere I look now this looks to have taken quite a bit of erosional damage here and I don't know if they're planning a beach renourishment or not but come fall, we got a barn burner of a storm through here. This little section of Treasure Island is going to be in tough shape. We're already missing some dock over here. Or crossover, more correctly. Some really big chunks of limestone rock here. And I'm just going to point this out to you. Florida is full of these limestone rock beds. We got a lot of our jetties and things like that, or rock groins that are made out of this stuff. But let's take a look at this for a second. I'm just gonna sit up here. Oh, knocked over my water. There's a fossil. There's a fossil. There's a fossil. 
There's a fossil of a ram's horn. And there's a fossil of an oyster. And there's one. There's one. There's one. There's one. There's one. There, 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 there. This whole rock is all like fossils. Fossil bearing limestone. And we have lots of that stuff here. We're not very old, but we do have an awful lot of Pliocene, Pleistocene, Miocene, and Eocene stuff here within our state. That's about as old as we go, just a few million years old. We don't have anything, you know, Ordovician or Jurassic or anything like that here because Florida's been above and below water a number of times. But we do have some fossil stuff and it is pretty cool. All right, I had to stop and take a break. Whew. Getting hot and tired. And boy, my camera is not happy either with this heat. Maybe I can walk up here in the shadow a little bit. So apparently all of this sand, where this is all eroded, all got damaged during Ian. And I don't know that they're gonna renourish this because the expense is quite high. And the Army Corps of Engineers only gonna kick in so much. Looks like it might have been a kitten paw. That's kind of wild. And that scallop's cute. I'm gonna take that. Now well, let's see what else we got here in this little shady area. Ooh, a little button snail with a blown out top. Oh, a little turret. Just missing his tip. Very cool. Probably not gonna stay much longer. It's already 10.30, and if it's this hot at 10.30, by one, it's gonna be unbearable. Broken piece of a tool. Oh, there's a bubble. A nice little striped bubble right there. Cool. And another one, a big one. Wow. That's awesome. Ooh, broken button with his top blown out. Jingle. Oh, and look at that little tiny yellow prickly cockle. That's so cute. Yeah, there's actually neat stuff all over the place in here. All right, I'm going to explore. Oh, wait, I'm not going anywhere just yet. There's another bubble. And look, an apple murex. Yeah. Awesome. Right, I'm going to explore above me and around the water a little more and then I'm going to work myself down this little line because there's some pretty cool tinies in here. I haven't seen too many of these guys yet today. Big sailor's ear. He's pretty chipped up and he's got a big hole in the middle so I'm going to leave that one here because they don't hold up real well to processing but... A little orange jingle. Pretty little coquina. The coquinas up here are fabulous. That cute little piece of coral. Okay, this is a nifty spot. Big old fossil base scallop. Ow. Ah, sand dollar. Oh my. <laughs> Very old sand dollar. Oh, thank you. Lovely. Beautiful scala. Thank you. Little hinge crossbarred Venus is rolling around in here. Another big piece of coral. Let's see what's up here. Ooh, there's one of those corrugated jewel boxes. A little scallop. A little surf clam. Actually, this very thin. It might be a matra. Fragile matra. You've seen. Roger Cardita. A little hinged coquina. And some hinge crossbarred Venus. A little comb bittersweet. Yeah, all kinds of neat stuff. And it looks like piles packed into this rock 
Oh, I see a piece of a crown conch just went floating by. All right. Maybe they're here somewhere too. Maybe I'll find them on the other side of these rocks. Oh, there's a pretty scallop. And jeez Louise, another fighting conch. And look at the size of that beast. That is a huge piece of a whelk. My goodness. Nice orange. I love orange. All right, so I've made it over to this rock pile now. It's quite a little pile up. And I mean, I'm right here at the edge. And I'm about a foot and a half of water. It's just above my knees. There's quite a big step to get up here. This is gonna be a neat trick. Oh, that's sinky. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Oh, you sink right into it. It's nothing but shells. Wow. Yeah, the shell pile on the edge is awesome, but there's no strength to it. I mean, yeah, I'll show you. Sink, like right up to your knees in shells. That was dumb. No, my shoes are full of junk. It's a nice spiny jewel box. All right. Another pretty hinged pair of coquinas. Doing well on those today. Oh. And now my shoes are full again. All sorts of little goodies in here. Another hinged coquina pair. Oh, let's see what's on the other side of this pile. Oh, there's my first auger today. Alrighty. Maybe there's a few more of those guys around here. Oh my. While I've been shelling and looking down, behind me has been uh, building up cloud-wise, it looks like. There's another nice little auger. And a couple of coquina pears. Nice. Hey. What is that? <laughs> I love Florida. An electronic advertising billboard on a barge boat. <laughs> Only here, man. <laughs> oh boy. What are we here? Little walk egg casings. That's pretty cool. Definitely not viable anymore. Just dried right out, but still neato. My goodness. More and more and more littles, just like we found out by the last jetty. Broken calico clam. I hear stuff scattered all over the place over here. Whew. Oh, that's a nice piece of well right there. Look at the colors on that. That's beautiful. Very lovely. Been here for probably about three hours now, and uh, I'm kind of happy. For summer showing, I found lots of really cool stuff. There's lots of nifty modern, some fossil stuff, big stuff, little stuff. This is a pretty cool spot to come show. I'm quite happy. 
Oh, here we go. There's a nice buttercup lucine. And look at this. A little pointed Venus clam. How sweet. And a little baby drill. How cute is that? A little sharp rib drill. A little jingle shell. And oh my goodness. It's a lucky limp. <laughs> Yeah, this place is fun. There's some more jingles. Another hinged pair. Another hinged pair. A little itty bitty teeny tiny drill. A lucky limpet. Good gracious, and an auger. Wow. Okay, this is fun up here for sure. Great in the tinies department. Look at that yellow coquina pair. How gorgeous is that? Super pretty. Nice big broad rib cardita. Another limpet? What? Wow. And a serif? Hey. Else we see. Another nice big buttercup lucine. Get out of here. There's another limpet up in the sea grass. Oh my gosh. That's like three in less than a minute. A beautiful dark serif. Look at the colors on that one. That is a stunner. Wow. Super pretty. Oh, this is fun too. This is a nice piece of a bryozoan colony. Looks like a broken and worn down chestnut turban. There's the top of a button. Man, now usually when I find some of this stuff, there's like a baby's ear or something in there too. So I'm kind of keeping my eyes open for them. There's another little hinged coquina pair. Some pretty stripes on them. Oh, this is so fun. Teeny tiny paired coquina there. Another one here. Another one here. What? Oh my gosh. Nice scallop. Another pretty paired coquina. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Oh my gosh. There's another one. And another one. And another one. Holy smokes. And there's another one. Oh, well, he got broken, but look at the one by itself. Gorgeous color. Yep. Good old lunky limpets. They didn't disappoint today. Let's get back in the water. God, it's hot. And I have to make my way back around the rocks so I can get around there before it gets deep again. Because slack tide's just about over. And it's going to start coming up further. Which means I'll be a little cut off from where I came over if I don't turn around right now and start heading back. But boy, what a fun spot this is. I see orange. Yes, I do. That's a beauty. Oh yeah, the water's coming way back in. Time to get around the rock pile. Oh golly. Oh, how pretty. You just washed in. You weren't here before. Lovely. All of that, where I just came up through here a little bit ago, this was above the water line. Now it's below, so I'm gonna have to go to the end and get back in. Oh, but hang on though. I'm gonna stop and just take that little guy because, oh my, what a stunner with that purple rim. Wow. I don't think I would have wanted to wait any longer to get around here though because from up there, you can't get down to this beach section. You have to go around the, the jetty to get down here. So 
if you can't cross at the end of the jetty, you're kind of stuck. See if anything new washed in while we were over there. Ooh. Yes. Oh, it's wrecked, but it's a fossil olive. That's cool. But it's ruined. And here's a little talon. Oh, wow. He's really discolored. But still, a talon nonetheless. We'll take it. Oh, here's a shell back there, but I don't think I can get back in there to reach it. And I don't think it would be safe to either, the way that this is undercut. The top of this bank is a lot closer to me than the bottom is. See that carved out? Yeah. Probably don't want to be crawling under that. That does not look safe. That looks like the storms are building south of us too. All right, I'm back to this little spot where there's like a little bit of shade under this embankment. Take a look through this pile one more time in a new spot. Got lucky and found an Apple Murex in here earlier. Let me find something else good. Cool flies back, Sarah. Another bubble. Another button. Yep, I'm liking the tinies over here. Oh, look at the coral on that old piece of shell. That's pretty. Ooh, look. Barnacle. Bubble. 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 Button. Button. Hinged tiny little arc. Oh, that I just unhinged. Got the battery changed again. I've got this little thing that helps charge them, but when it's this hot, it doesn't like to work, and when the camera's this hot, it goes through them a lot faster. But that's okay, because my batteries are about drained too. So I've sat down here in semi-shade behind this wall of sand and shells that I'm trying not to let myself look at because I'll dig in it, and I shouldn't because it's already eroding away. But I see a nice piece of coral in there, though. That's pretty cool. I sat down to see what little tinies there were, and before I could get my camera battery changed, I found all kinds of little goodies. Another little limpet, and a little egg cockle, a little tiny one, a seraph, and a little coquina, and a piece of worm snail, and look at here. That is a little itty bitty moon snail. <laughs> it's so cute. So I'm on quite a tiny pile here, I guess. And the only question I really have is did they wash in? Or did they wash out? It's hard to say. So it might be time to head on out of Sunset Beach in Treasure Island. Not to be confused with the Sunset Beach near Tarpon Springs. Because that Tarpon Spring one was a bust, but uh, this little Sunset Beach has been very, very fruitful. Found lots of really neat stuff here today. Yeah, between the ability to snorkel here, the ability to get here early, and the ability to find all kinds of nifty littles and big things and fossils, I think this would be a great place for our next get together for the full moon. Since I'm leaving the beach, I might as well show my way off of it. Get out of here. That's a little teeny tiny sea urchin. Isn't that sweet? Oh, he's definitely dead. His Aristotle's lantern is just barely hanging on by a thread in there. And he's all dried out, which means that saves me most of the work. And most of the spines are off of it. So I really don't have to do much but just a little light cleanup with the Dremel. Alright. I'll put that one in my pocket and hope that I don't break it. Tired, hot, sweaty, sandy, and completely happy. Because I found some really neat stuff here. Oh my gosh. A good fighting conch. 
the first nice one I've seen all day. He's not perfect, but he's a lot more perfect than the rest of them that I picked up, which were quite old. That's a beauty. I like that. And someone just gifted me a sand dollar. A gentleman walking away with me, or from me with the snorkel and the fins, just handed me this beautiful sand dollar. So what a great way to start and now end my day at beautiful Sunset Beach in Treasure Island. When you see a sand dollar when you're leaving the beach, you have to stop. See, all I can see of it right here is just what's exposed. I'm gonna go around it with my finger. Get a sense for how big it is. There's one edge. And then from underneath, lift that guy right out. Oh, he's a nice one. Let's get him rinsed. That's beautiful. Oh, wow. Pretty sand dollar right there. Very nice. Alrighty. And I'm just about to where I came on the beach, so. That's it, really stopping this time, for sure. Calling it. Gonna head back southbound, get this hall cleaned up and see what all we found out here today at Sunset Beach in Treasure Island. All right. So, I'm back in the air conditioning in the car. Mercifully, because it's so hot. Let's take a look at the hall. That's some beach trash I picked up. But this is the cool stuff that I found heading south of the beach axis where I got on at. And then I made my way back up to the beach axis and went above. And I found all of these goodies with a bunch of really nice tinies in there. Got some bigger guys going on earlier when I was checking out where the fossil stuff was. And I found a couple and was gifted one beautiful sand dollar. So I came home with a total of three today. Fabulous. stuff that I found from the beach access down to the southernmost jetty and yeah you can see I picked up some beach junk and whatnot too to throw out in the trash so found this cool cool sea whip big old conch shell jingles and worm snails and coquinas and prickly cockles and Scallops and oysters and thick leucines and buttercup leucines and little calico clam, spiny jewel boxes, and even a bit of egg casing from a tulip. And then I went back to my vehicle, offloaded that, and searched close to the beach access. This is the area I think people will have the most fun if they do some snorkeling. Oh, dropping shells too. True tulip, and some whelks, some coral, some really old fossil shells, some more paired coquinas, the size of that baby foot jingle. Look at that, it's huge. And then this was north of the second jetty, where I found lots of littles and cool stuff. Here we've got some egg casings, some scallops, more paired coquinos, yellow cockles, a modern fighting conch, really beautiful one. And none of this has even been rinsed off yet, guys. Sorry, it's a little on the, the dirty side, but, but look at all the tiny augers and fly speck seras and button shells and paired coquinas and 
all kinds of goodies. Oh, yep, another piece of beach plastic. Put that over there. There we go. So, yeah. I think the possibilities for uh, a little full moon shelling on the 31st at the Sunset Beach Treasure Island location look pretty promising. Especially in the area where I found this stuff is the sand below the water surface is full. And I mean full of stuff. Loaded. Loaded with stuff. So, yeah. It looks like we'll find a very good variety of things and have ourselves a very good time. So basically, I just wanted to give you an idea of what kinds of things you could find up there. And as you could tell, it was almost like shelling in three different locations right at the, the same beach, actually. It was pretty amazing. I am going to hold off making anything with this shell haul until after we hit the blue moon shelling event on the 31st. So thanks so much for watching this week and bearing with me while I was behind. And we'll see you there.